What's going on guys? So today marks day one of the new build and documenting the entire process, all the cost breakdown, me building the entire thing. So what the home actually is, is it's gonna be a 400 square foot tiny home luxury couples retreat. So the goal with this is, this is this plays into my master plan for the entire property, is that I wanted to have the Pacific Bin being the main equity generation for this property. I would then build an unpermitted 400 square foot home, which is this couples retreat we're gonna be building here. And then the third structure will be the accessory dwelling unit, which will also be fully permitted. And sort of tying back to all of the comments on my bin budget breakdown video where everyone's saying this kid spent way too much on this like just sort of ripping me a new one so what many people don't understand about the bins build is that i oversized all the utilities and i paid those costs up front to oversize everything to be able to accommodate this 400 square foot home and the accessory dwelling unit that's going to be way in the back over there so that includes the electrical having 400 amp service the septic being an oversized septic system that's able to accommodate three structures here as well as the well having oversized pressure tanks and just reassuring that the well will be able to accommodate the three structures that we hope to have here. Before I give you guys a little tour of what the lot's gonna be and how everything's sorta of gonna be laid out, I'm gonna change my chainsaw blade. The last couple of weeks, I've been out here clearing, um, just like chopping down trees and sort of clearing the path where the driveway's gonna be um, before we get the excavators in here to pull out all the stumps so we can actually lay some gravel and get a road back to where this home's gonna be. So throughout this build, my plan is to document the entire process on YouTube, even if that means construction's a little bit slower because I wanna be able to really edit these videos well, break down the entire cost and just what everything looks like. I had a lot of positive comments from the last uh, cost breakdown video saying how it actually included every cost. And that's sort of my goal with this, like everything from these $24 chains for the chainsaws to just everything that goes into this build. Gosh, now I gotta figure out how to put these chains on. This next piece isn't to be any less like luxurious. It's still gonna be high end because we, we built a really high end brand with all the finishes and amenities that the bin has. So it's gonna be on par with all of that, but it's gonna be more of a couple's like private retreat like, a couple just wants to take a weekend away and spend it out in the forest, having the sauna and the hot tub and all that. So that's sort of the goal. Clear up with oil. Clear up on the gas. So I'm at the front of the property here and I'm gonna give you guys a little more of lay of the land on how the property is actually laid out. The property is a long skinny lot and around the left side of the perimeter is where the bins driveway is. So you can see right here, this is all the bins driveway. We'll, we'll have a sign on this tree saying the Pacific bin down that way and you go down a few hundred feet to get to the bin and then you'll have whatever name we come up with. If you can think of a cool name that involves cedar, I will probably name it after that, like a little not cedar bin, but something along the lines of that. So this driveway is gonna be about 700 feet long and just yesterday I finished actually clearing the main section of this driveway here. So in a few weeks we'll be able to get an excavator out here um, and that's gonna be fun. It's always fun working with heavy machinery. But as you can see, all of these little tree stumps, I've marked them all and hopefully I'll only have to rent an excavator for a few days to be able to pull these stumps. As you can see behind me here, the driveway is pretty stinking big. As I mentioned, it's gonna be about 700 feet long. And the point of using multiple driveways to get to each of the homes is I wanna feel like it's a totally secluded experience for each of the homes. So the bins driveway is right along the side of the lot. So it sort of keeps you off to one side. This driveway is gonna get you to the back half of the lot, which is where the other two structures will be. And I sort of want it to just feel like you're just going off deep into the forest for this cool little getaway secluded experience. These are my snacks from yesterday and here's my brand new tripod. This is my uh, my bin tripod, rest in peace. <laughs> this is where I started clearing yesterday and I cleared all the way throughout here. And the cool part is you'll sort of come up here and this is my neighbor's property. Let's see if we can get in, in focus, there we go. This is my neighbor's property here, and there's an airstrip where we can land helicopters and planes. And also horses tend to graze in this lot, so sometimes horses will greet you as you pull up here. Vlogging with a 1DX Mark II is, <laughs> it's a lot, my arm is killing me. Okay, so once you make it about three, 400 feet down the driveway, and we're, we're hugging the other side of my property, you can see 
through the woods a little ways there, you can see a little tiny bit of the bin. It's a couple hundred feet away. Um, so the thought is I still wanna keep each of these homes completely secluded from the rest of each other so that guests do feel like they're just completely off by themselves. This is where the home's actually gonna be. That's just another 150, 200 feet past where we were. And the goal for today is to get all of this stuff that over the last couple of weeks we've been sectioning up, to just get it out of here so we can start laying out exactly where the home goes. So I think it'll be a win today. I have to get out of here by 3.30 before the guest checks in at four at the bin because I don't want to be ripping chainsaws with guests trying to relax in the forest. So the plan today is to see how much of this we can get out of the way. And ideally I have a nice like 40 by 30 30 section uh, that we can start laying out the home in. So we'll see how far we get today. Also, it's a lot scarier looking at it from up here because all of this has to be gone and cleared to like raw earth before we can actually start the build. Before I jump into it, I just wanna thank you guys for subscribing. It's crazy that we have 34,000 subscribers right now. Uh, I think the goal by the end of the year is to hit 100,000. Um, but if you guys have any questions for this build or just really anything, comments, whatever, drop them in the comments down below. I'm gonna be getting back to every single one of my comments on here. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys. So let's, uh, let's dive into it. gonna be doing this don't do it in a forest <laughs> forests are a total pain in the butt having to log up all these massive logs but it does look really cool in the end having all the mossy trees around oh I need a freaking bobcat <laughs> stuff gets me so excited like creating a unique space that's yours that you built with your own two hands is <laughs> it was so rewarding like with the Pacific bin reading through all of the Airbnb reviews and the guest book it's just it's wild to see how much a space like your vision can turn into a space that others just truly feel at peace and enjoy and can just like create unique experiences with. I've never been able to buy into the narrative of work 15 years, save up your money, put down a deposit, and then have like a 30 year loan. Uh, it's just never, never checked out with me. So making, making something that's my own and <laughs> my little slice of heaven out here is just so appealing to me. So that's sort of the drive behind wanting to do all this in the first place and just creating something that makes me financially free is something that I thoroughly enjoy and just being away from the city is, is something I've always wanted to do. So we're finally out here doing it. So what I'm trying to do with the clearing here is leave as much of like the mossy undergrowth as possible and almost have like a pruned forest. Like, I don't know, like when you guys go on hikes, you always see like the moss covering the forest floor. That's sort of what I'm trying to achieve here. I can show you. So like all of this stuff here, I'm trying to keep that and almost have it like, like it is over there, where it's just nice and like clear mossy uh, like forest floor. So 
these are all those cedars I was talking about. It's just absolutely stunning. So I'm thinking we're gonna have the little platform here with the sauna, like one of those barrel saunas, looking off into the forest at all these just super old growth, um, super old growth cedars and whew, I'm getting my butt kicked, but <laughs> there's a ton more to go. So I'll keep going. is the design of the home, which I'll be walking through in the next video, sort of breaking down why I designed it the way it is and sort of how we're optimizing it so it can be partially lived in if like one or two people absolutely had to live there more longer term. So more for like those uh, medium term stays on Airbnb, but also how it's optimized for just like couples getting away. We're actually making pretty good headway today. There's a, there's a lot of huge rounds here still, but uh, we're honestly getting more done than I thought we would. I'd probably say we got like one, two more clearing days max, and then the site's gonna be pretty much ready. There's like two big cedars that I'm ignoring and I'm just pushing off to the very end. I'm probably gonna call it a day here. I'm, I'm pretty wiped, it's like 85 out and my hat is like freaking soaked through. <laughs> so we're gonna be calling it here. Um, yeah, the next few days will probably be clearing, but the next couple videos will be sort of breaking down the financials of it and what my budget estimate is as well as the design. So here, I'll show you what we got done today. So all of this was covered in fallen trees and it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but um, yeah, we got a decent amount of it clear. So the home's gonna be like pretty much put right here. You have the little uh, sauna in the woods looking out there, probably hot tub over that way. Um, yeah, should be really pretty.